Shofetim judges seven. Then Yerubbaal, who is Gidan, and all the people that were with him, rose up early and pitched beside Ayin Charad, so that the host of the Midyanim were on the north side of them, by the hill of Morah, in the valley. And Yahuwah said unto Gidon, The people that are with you are too many for me to give Eth the Midyanim into their hands, lest Yashara'el vaunt themselves against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. Now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilad. And there returned of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remained ten thousand. And Yahuwah said unto Gidon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them for you there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto you, This shall go with you, the same shall go with you. And of whomsoever I say unto you, This shall not go with you, the same shall not go. So he brought down Eth the people unto the water, and Yahuwah said unto Gidon, Everyone that laps of the water with his tongue, as a dog laps, him shall you set by himself. Likewise, everyone that bows down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, were three hundred men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And Yahuwah said unto Gidon, By the three hundred men that lapped will I save you, and deliver Eth the Midyanim into your hand, and let all the other people go, every man unto his place. So the people took Eth victuals in their hand, and Eth their shofars, and he sent Eth all the rest of Yashara'el, every man unto his tent and retained those three hundred men. And the host of Midian was beneath him in the valley. And it came to pass in, rather, and it came to pass the same night that Yahuwah said unto him, Arise, get you down unto the host, for I have delivered it into your hand. But if you fear to go down, go with Hurrah, your servant, down to the host. And you shall hear what they say, and afterward shall your hands be strengthened to go down unto the host. Then went he down with Pura, his servant, unto the outside of the armed men that were in the host. And the Midyanim and the Amalekim and all the children of the east lay along in the valley like grasshoppers for multitude. And their camels were without number as the sand by the seaside for multitude. And when Gedan was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream. And lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of Midian, and came unto a tent, and smote it that it fell, and overturned it that the tent lay along. And his fellow answered and said, This is nothing else save the sword of Gidon, the son of Yoash, a man of Yashara'el. For into his hand has Elohim delivered Eth Midyan, and Eth all the host. And it was so, when Gidan heard Eth the telling of the dream, and Eth the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped, and returned into the host of 
Yashara El and said, Arise, for Yahuwah has delivered into your hand Eth, the host of Midian. And he divided Eth, the three hundred men, into three companies. And he put a shofar in every man's hand with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me and do likewise. And behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that as I do, so shall ye do. When I blow with the shofar, I and all that are with me, then blow ye the shofars also on every side of all the camp, and say, The sword of Yahuwah and of Gidan. So Gidan and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch. And they had but newly set at the watch. And they blew the shofars and broke the pitchers that were in their hands. And the three companies blew the shofars and broke the pitchers and held the lamps in their left hands. And the shofars in the right hands to blow withal. And they cried, The sword of Yahuwah and of Gidon. And they stood every man in his place round about the camp. And all the host ran and cried and fled. And the three hundred blew the shofars. And Yahuwah eth set every man's sword against his fellow, even throughout all the host. And the host fled to Beit Hash Shata in Sararatha and to the border of Evel Mechola unto Tabath. And the men of Yashara'el gathered themselves together out of Naphtali and out of Asher and out of all Menashehe and pursued after the Midyanim. And Gidan sent messengers throughout all Mount Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianim, and take before them the Eth waters unto Beit Bara, and Eth the Yardan. Then all the men of Ephraim gathered themselves together, and took the Eth waters unto Beit Bara, and Eth the Yardan. And they took two princes of the Midianim, Eth Orev and Eth Ze'ev, and they slew Eth Orev upon the rock Orev, and Eth Ze'ev they slew at the winepress of Ze'ev, and pursued Midian. And brought the heads of Orev and Ze'ev to Gidan on the other side of the Yardan.